Well, thanks to everybody for coming out tonight. Can everybody hear me okay? Our prayers have been answered with the closing of this facility. I'm Chris Davis, the program director for Shreveport Bossier Sidewalk Advocates for Life, as well as the local campaign director uh, for 40 Days for Life. Chris Davis is just a phenomenal leader here in Shreveport Bossier City. He started leading 40 Days for Life campaigns uh, back in 2009, and he decided to give it, you know, one more year, and he just kept going. He's a guy just like you and me who has work and family and a lot going on, and yet he signed up to run a 40 Days for Life campaign. He signed up for Sidewalk Advocates for Life because he knew that there was power in prayer and peaceful outreach. I met Lauren Musica from uh, while, her time while she was at 40 Days for Life, and then I heard she was starting Sidewalk Advocates, and I said, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna bring Lauren in to Shreveport Bossier. We estimate that about 10,000 precious babies have died in this facility. On average, they were doing about 1,000 abortions a year here in Bossier City. Little boys and little girls who have lost their lives under the banner of so-called safe and legal choice. That year, I think we tripled our saved numbers. It's not all about numbers, but it's a good bit about numbers. You know, sometimes we're tempted in the kingdom of God to scramble and to go, I'm so desperate for something to close down, some miracle to happen, that sometimes we grasp for odd techniques or whatever it may be. But you all have found the way, you found his way, and that is through the power of prayer and peaceful outreach. This is such a huge victory for the Bossier City community. We need to pray as if your next prayer will be answered in this moment. With the closing of this abortion facility, this is that moment. It all starts on the sidewalk. So if you want to help end abortion in your community, I really want to encourage you to go out there to where it's taking place. And it may feel intimidating. Praying on the sidewalk is, is very difficult. Everybody would rather be watching college football than be at an abortion facility. Everybody would rather go out to eat and hang out and do other things with our spare time. Already here in 2017, we're on record pace uh, as far as abortion facilities closing. They're probably going to announce another record year in early 2018. We've had Los Angeles, we've had New York, we've had London, we've had Bossier City, uh, we've had College Station. We've had so many cities around the world ha ha see an end to abortion every single place it's very difficult to do. As we're seeing all of these amazing victories take place, you're seeing a huge rise in peaceful prayer and peaceful outreach. It is getting results. Th this should be the goal of any peaceful, prayerful campaign to end abortion. For so many years we put stock in Washington DC that that was our hope. If we get the right politicians in there and we get the right media connections. We feel like being peaceful is the only way to really change someone's heart. When we help a mother turn away from the abortion facility, Roe versus Wade ends for her in that moment. We may not ever meet anyone on the Supreme Court, but we will be able to meet a woman who's pregnant and confused. With the closing of the Bossier City facility today, Roe versus Wade ended in this community. It's a victory for everybody because our goal we have to have abortion-free cities so we can have abortion-free states, so we can have abortion-free regions, and we can have abortion an abortion-free nation. And that starts locally, and you have done it. God bless you. He's a great example of what can happen in anybody's town. And he's not done. He's now going to pick up and go to Shreveport.